All right, we got to have a serious talk about electric trucks and the electrification of vehicles and the problem that nobody seems to be talking about in the electric car community. Now, the problem isn't the batteries when it comes to trucks. Battery technology is getting better every single year. We're getting higher C ratings, more power, faster chargers. It's not so much the battery and the transitions that we got to worry about. It's the pure amount of power these things use in our electrical grid. So now a logging truck is going to use anywhere between 1.5, 2 megawatts of power. There's 5,000 logging trucks in British Columbia alone. And that's just one industry that there's 5,000 trucks. Total, that's 10 gigawatts of power for demand usage. Site C Dam they're building has a capacity of 1.1 gigawatts. When these trucks, just logging trucks in the province alone, are going to require 10 gigawatts of power per day. How do we maintain that? We haven't invested in our electrical grid. We don't have the infrastructure, the transmission lines, distribution lines, or generation to fill all these trucks that they go electric. So now you're talking about blackouts, brownouts of power. Unless we invest billions upon trillions in our electrical grid, we're not going to be able to go fully electric. That's why I say diesel hybrid. Have a diesel generator with electric drive motors at the back. It's the best of both worlds. An electric motor is incredibly efficient high torque a diesel generator running at peak rpm is incredibly reliable and rather than lugging the engine down and then back up again constantly that's one of the hardest soot and emission loading a diesel engine running at peak rpm and peak efficiency is incredibly efficient in terms and clean in terms of its emissions that's why i think diesel electric is that gap stop that we're going to need as we go electric Sure, as the grid infrastructure gets better, we can start sizing the engine down, making the diesel motor smaller, making the battery bank bigger. But I think the diesel electric hybrid is the way forward of the future to bridge that transition gap until our infrastructure gets there. And for some reason, I don't hear anybody else talking about this and it's driving me nuts, but we need diesel electric if we're gonna go electric.